This week on the show, we have Dr. Amy B. Lewis, an associate professor at Yale and cosmetic dermatologist. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding the importance of surrounding yourself with people who inspire, respect, and uplift you rather than drain your energy. The truth is, who we surround ourselves with has an impact on how we feel. We can leave an encounter with someone feeling inspired and happy or feeling completely drained from the other person's energy. This is why it's vital to be surrounded by people that you admire, love you, clap for you, and importantly, encourage you to keep evolving. Successful people respect their time and value and understand what they bring to the table in their relationships. Therefore, they ensure that the people in their life are only amongst those that are cheering them on, supporting them, and are proud of their friendship. It boils down to the quality of their circle rather than the quantity. Rather than wasting your energy on people that don't match your energy or see your value, focus your energy on improving yourself and the universe will bring people into your life that match with your positive energy and outlook on life. As Oprah quotes, surround yourself with only people who are going to lift you higher. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. And I wanted to ask, is Softwave for someone like me who doesn't have wrinkles, but obviously wants to prevent you know, premature aging? Or is it for people only with wrinkles? No, so as I was saying, like, you really want to start before you need it, right? Yeah. Because it, then you won't actually have to need it later on. Mm -hmm. And you just want to keep that collagen going. So you should start early and it will prevent the loss that you inevitably would have. You know, people say that I want to turn into their mother or their father, right? This is a way to keep your skin in better shape than they didn't have this when they when they were our age, right? So they didn't have this option. So they should definitely start younger. And um, I think it's for everybody. And what's really nice about it also, it's colorblind. You can use it on dark skin, light skin, it doesn't matter because it bypasses the outer layer of skin and goes underneath. So we call it colorblind, which means you can use it on any color of skin. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Dr. Amy Lewis from Lewis Dermatology, who will be speaking about Softwave, a next generation ultrasound treatment for fine lines and wrinkles. Dr. Amy, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Good, thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here today. So let's talk a little bit about your background as a dermatologist. Sure, so I'm a cosmetic dermatologist in New York City. I've had my own practice here for about 20 something years. And I um, also teach at Yale and I teach a cosmetic clinic up there and I train the residents in cosmetic dermatology. Very nice. And you know, as a dermatologist, what are the top skin concerns that you find that people have? So skin, some of the skin concerns that kind of are across all ages are sensitive skin, dry skin, acne prone, pigmentation. We get people asking about how do I improve the texture and the tone of my skin versus pigmentation in the skin, whether it's red pigment or brown pigment. And then as you get a little older, they start asking about sagging, laxity, fine lines, wrinkles. That becomes more of the issue. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I want to talk about, I know that your clinic also offers soft wave technology. So what is it exactly and how does it work? Soft wave is an ultrasound technology, which is really nice because they're ultrasound waves. There's actually seven beams that go uh, under your skin and cause a, an ultrasound heat that coagulates the, the dermis. By coagulating the dermis at a certain temperature, it causes collagen remodeling. By remodeling the collagen, you buy, you stimulate your collagen to grow, causing more even collagen and elastic tissue. When you improve elastic tissue, you get better spring back to your skin, which we all want, right? So that's a way to get a non-invasive technology, a treatment with no downtime at all. You can walk right out of the office, there's no redness, there's no swelling, there's no bruising, and it can give you fine lines and wrinkles improvement, or you can go for actually lifting. Some tightening here, jawline, neck, mm -hmm. or bra lift. Yeah, absolutely. And I know as we age, uh, we lose collagen. So talk to us about that and why we do. 
So you know what's really interesting is that people don't realize that you start losing collagen at about the age of 25. Right, so there's a curve where you start going way down after 25. It takes about 10 years before you actually see that. It's interesting to me that people don't realize you should start early. You should start before you notice the signs of the loss of collagen. It's like when someone's losing their hair, you don't notice that you've lost your hair until you've lost a lot of hair, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why don't you start before when it just starts the hair loss? Same thing with collagen. So you should start doing things to improve your collagen and to keep the revving up of your own biological collagen process going. So that's one of the things that SoftWave and some other techniques that can improve collagen are used for. Yeah, absolutely. And how does it help? How does SoftWave help to build collagen? What's the process like? Because you come in, it looks like a laser, right? But it's not a laser because it's ultrasound. So ultrasound, um, it feels like heat, and it, it pulses on your on your skin, and you feel the heat. It's tolerable. You can use numbing cream for sure, but it's a totally tolerable treatment. And um, you just don't get red on the top, and the energy is underneath the skin in the dermal layer. And then it, they've actually done biopsies to show that after this treatment, weeks later, they increase the collagen under, underneath that layer. So you're basically increasing the collagen in the dermis, where, this, where our collagen lies, right? So what's really important about that is it takes about six weeks for collagen to start to grow after a procedure. So it's important to understand that you might get some initial tightening after the procedure, but it, you're still going to be cooking, really, for at least six weeks to start and for months after. So you're not going to see really the improvement and the full um, effect of the treatment for months later, which is kind of nice because you're looking in the mirror all the time and you're expecting to look older and older and you're actually looking younger and younger as, you know, the weeks are going on. Yeah, absolutely. And I did see some before and after pictures on the website, which yeah. are really, really drastic. So let, let's talk about some of the testimonials people have had after they've had this uh, soft wave treatment. So people are amazed. They, a lot of people come in and they say, oh, you know, I had no downtime, so of course it couldn't work. You know, you have that mentality that you have to suffer in order to get the, get a result, right? Yeah. That's not so true anymore. So what's really nice is it's an FDA-approved treatment. Back a couple of years ago, the first FDA approval was for fine lines and wrinkles and tightening. Back in um, 2020, 2021, they did a huge pivotal trial, and they submitted it to the FDA, and they went for the approval for lifting. They went for brow lift, under the chin lifting, and neck lift. It's really hard to get that approval because you have to send a lot of studies and a lot of measurements, and a lot of those studies are pictures that you saw, right? Mm -hmm. And there were some older people that you wouldn't have thought would have gotten such a great result, but they really did. Mm -hmm. So after they submitted that to the FDA, they actually got FDA approval for all three areas for lifting which is really impressive actually. So um, the, the way they did that was they did two treatments, six weeks or six to eight weeks apart, where the initial, if you just need some fine lines and wrinkles, then you can just do one treatment. And then just go to maintenance as you age, maybe once a year or something like that. So if you wanna get more lifting, then sometimes we add another treatment and then you go to your maintenance therapy. You know, Because remember, we always wanna keep your collagen regenerating more because it's, a, all of us as we age, our collagen is starting to, go down our collagen reduction, like the factory is, turn, is just not working as well. We want to boost that factory up. So yeah. that's what it does. Absolutely. And what are some areas, I know you talk, touched base about it earlier, but what are some areas that SoftWave tackles? Is it just for the face or is it for the body as well? You can actually do the body as well. So yeah. off face, especially neck. Neck is a big area that we do. It's probably the number one area that people complain about. And then you can do chest. And um, you could we use it on above the knees. You know, people get this oh, wrinkling above really? the knees. Yeah. yeah, and on the arms is another area for like the laxity under the arms, you know, the upper arms. Um, you can use it on the stomach. Anywhere where there's lax skin, you can actually get some tightening from from the uh, the procedure. But I can tell you that uh, probably neck and jawline are at number one yeah. <laughs> of the procedures that we use it for. Yeah. And what are some other treatments that you guys have at Lewis Dermatology, out of curiosity? <laughs> we have a lot of great toys here, actually. Yeah, we have like... Neo Sculpt to increase uh, muscle and decrease fat at the same time, which also can tighten a little bit of the skin above that. We have Ducool Sculpting for body sculpting and getting rid of fat. We have the Pico Laser, which does all pigmentation and tattoo removals. Um, we have vascular lasers. We have IPL. We have we do peels. Um, we have plasma uh, lasers and CO2 for resurfacing to get rid of fine lines, wrinkles, tighten your pores, um, give you a refreshed look. So pretty much anything you could possibly think of, we probably have it. 
Absolutely. And your skin looks great, by the way. <laughs> I actually had a soft wave about six weeks ago. Oh, very nice. So it's definitely working for you. <laughs> and I wanted to ask, is soft wave for someone like me who doesn't have wrinkles, but obviously wants to prevent, you know, premature aging? Or is it for people only with wrinkles? No. So as I was saying, like, you really want to start before you need it, right? Yeah. Because it, then you won't actually have to need it later on. Mm -hmm. And you just want to keep that collagen going. So you should start early and it will prevent the loss that you inevitably would have. You know, people say that they want to turn into their mother or their father, mm -hmm. right? This is a way to keep your skin in better shape than they didn't have this when they when they were our age, right? So they didn't have this option. So they should definitely start younger. And um, I think it's for everybody. And what's really nice about it also, it's colorblind. You can use it on dark skin, light skin, it doesn't matter because it bypasses the outer layer of skin and goes underneath. So we call it colorblind, which means you can use it on any color of skin. Yeah, absolutely. And for someone that's going into a treatment, what can they expect? Because sometimes some of these uh, treatments, you don't know what to expect and you're obviously scared to go in, right? So what can right. they expect from beginning to end? So someone will come in, we usually put some numbing cream on them for like maybe 20, 30 minutes, right? And then we start the procedure. Now, if you do not have a good pain threshold at all, you really don't want to feel anything, we have other options where you can have like a nitrous gas where you kind of like float away a little bit and you feel like you don't feel any, you feel nothing. And so somebody who doesn't want to feel anything has that option. Most of the patients just opt to have the topical numbing cream because it's really not that uh, uncomfortable. It feels like little heat snaps. So you go through the procedure, probably takes for the full face, maybe a half an hour, if you're doing face and neck, 45 minutes. Um, sometimes just do the upper brow, brow lift, and that takes maybe 15 to 20 minutes tops. And when you are done, there is nothing on your skin. There's no redness, there's no swelling, there's no you know, pigmentation, nothing. You just look tighter immediately when you're, when you're done. And, uh, and then they go home. And it's one, of the, it's one of the few procedures that you can do and have no downtime and no hint of anything right after. So you can go under the radar. Absolutely. And, you know, I had a BBL halo treatment and um, it was quite painful. <laughs> and my skin was very red for about a week, um, right. but I had great results. So is, what, what's the difference between the two? So you're talking about something that's going to be superficial on the top of the skin, right? For pigmentation, maybe some tightening topically, maybe helping with the pores. Well, we're going underneath the skin. So we're bypassing the epidermal layer. So that's why you're really going kind of from the inside out, you know, and we're going for deeper fibers. We're getting more collagen regeneration deeper to get more lifting. So they both work well together because you're doing two different things. Um, like soft weight is not, is not something you would do if you wanted to get rid of pigment. If you want to get rid of pigmentation, you could do a BBL, an IPL, a tense plus light type thing, or a Pico laser, or some peels. There's so many things that you, options out there. That's not what soft weight does. Soft weight does more of the sculpting, tightening, lifting, you know, and keeping the collagen um, growing so that you have the elasticity in your skin. Yeah, but and as we age, we, we have both things to worry about, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we have multiple toys to use. Mm -hmm. And what's the depth required to uh, treat wrinkles in the middermis? So this goes 1.5 millimeters under the skin surface, and that happens to be the perfect um, layer to get the dermis in the dermis to get the regeneration and the collagen remodeling. And there's some other devices that obviously go that depth, and some go a little deeper. You can go a little deeper. You don't have to uh, for certain like microneedling or. For, for instance, there's microneedling radio frequency machines, which can help uh, tighten the skin and they can have different depths. But this is, this step seems to be really working. They did biopsies right after, you know, weeks after, to show right at that depth that that's where the collagen is actually increasing. So it's um, there are different air layers that you can actually target, and this is the perfect layer to target. The nice thing about this machine is that there are seven horizontal beams that are going together. So you're getting a great, I call it like bang for your buck, per pulse, mm -hmm. you get a lot of energy going right in that one layer per pulse. So every time you feel that little bit of heat, you're getting a lot of area covered, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. So is there any pain in this at all, or is it just like a yeah, slight pain? I'm not going to say it's painless. It's um, <laughs> definitely, you feel the heat, you feel okay. like a little bit. What happens is it has, you count to 10, and when you're up to like 8, you're like, oh, it's starting to hurt, but then 10 is done. Okay. So each pulse goes, you count to like 10 in my head. So. 
it's um, some people again don't want to feel anything. We give them the nitrous, it's called Pronox, and they control it. And so it's up to them to inhale as they want, and they just feel like they they float away a little bit. You feel a little bit like woozy. You don't really feel the pain. And the second you stop it, it cuts off. So it's not like it, has, it doesn't have any hangover. There's no no um, residual effect. So a lot of my patients who don't want to feel anything, they use that, especially if we're doing say we're doing full face and neck. So it's a longer procedure, they don't want to feel anything, they just want to zone out, we give them the Provenox. If you're just doing a partial area, maybe just the brow, but just the neck, something like that, it's pretty fast. It's totally tolerable with numbing. The nice thing is when you're going 1.5 millimeters under the skin surface, the numbing cream can, get, can help. It can actually help down there. If you're going really deep, the numbing cream's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. So it's something that can actually be affected by numbing cream for, for um, to help with the pain or discomfort. I wouldn't call it pain, I would call it discomfort, but it's totally tolerable. Mm -hmm. And can someone pick whether it's a lighter treatment or a deeper treatment? Yeah, so that's a good question. So if somebody wants like just some fine lines and wrinkles, maybe a little tightening, and they wanna just prevent, then we do a certain number, we have different energy levels, and we would stay on the lower energies, and we would do say two passes in different areas, and that's what the first protocol was. If somebody has more sun damage and more elast elastic damage, which means they're more saggy, then we want to push that our envelope a little bit. So we might we push the, the energy a little bit higher, and we will do more passes. We'll do three to four passes in an area and different vectors in that area to try to really get that area to um, boost more collagen and get more lifting. So we'll tailor it to the patient for sure. So somebody who um, has one knee gets, you know, one treatment and someone who has a different knee will get a different type of treatment. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned there's no downtime, but I know that sometimes your skin can be sensitive to the sun after. So do you guys have any um, treatments after? Like, do you need to wear a certain cream or uh, stay away from the sun after your treatment? So for a lot of treatments in my office, the answer would be yes to that. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm doing any uh, CO2 resurfacing or even appeals or something like that, for this, no. You literally oh. are bypassing the outer layer of the skin. You oh. do not have any un increased sun sensitivity. You don't get red. You you know, there's the the positive to that is literally it's nothing. Nothing's on the outside. The downside is if you have some pigmentation, like I said, it's not going to treat that. But we have other things for that. So this is a great treatment for a lot of people who want no downtime, great results and minimal discomfort, right? So, um, and you don't have to, you really don't have to put any creams on after, just go back to your regular regimen. It doesn't stop you from using your Retin-A if you're using that, or glycolics, or, um, you know, I'm not gonna tell somebody to go sit in the sun, obviously, yeah. but I mean, you wear your sunblock every day anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what are some results that you've seen with it? Because your skin looks great, and you said you just had the procedure. So tell us about your specific experience. So I, I like to try like all my toys, you know. So if I'm gonna if I'm gonna tell a patient, I'm gonna recommend to a patient, I wanna be I wanna know how it feels. Yeah. So I can explain it better. So it's it's hard for me to say it feels like something if I don't ever try it. So so I just suffer through trying all my toys, right? <laughs> so I um it feels like little snaps. There are I would say there are a couple areas that I would call a little uncomfortable and that's more areas where it's on the bone like on the forehead or the jawline those would be a little more uncomfortable and but then the next one I might not feel at all the next pulse so if you have you know what we, the way we usually do it is if we have a couple areas on the jawline to do we'll do a jawline area and then we'll go to someplace else that doesn't hurt and we'll go back to the jawline so you're not uncomfortable for you know a few minutes at a time so it's just a few seconds and then you're over it and then we move on um, it's actually, it's funny because I, this is one of the only procedures I can't do on myself. Mm -hmm. If I can do it on myself, I would, but I can't do this on myself. So when I was having it done, I know the more passes and pulses, the better results you're going to get. So after we're done, I was like, do more, do more, <laughs> do more. So obviously I wasn't in pain because I kept saying, do more, I want more. Yeah. I like, I was just waiting, I want the results to kick in, you know? So I want to be as tight as I can be without with looking naturally. Because this is natural, right? There's no surgery, there's no... There's no cutting, there's no suturing, there's, it's just a natural, non-surgical lifting, which, if you think about this, years ago, we had no options like that. Yeah, you know? 
Absolutely. I, I like non-invasive treatments because I'm afraid to ever get anything invasive. So for, I think this is something great for me. And they did offer me to try it. So after you told me, I think I'm actually <laughs> going to give yeah, it a yeah. go. <laughs> and Dr. Amy, the big question is how much do these treatments cost and how many treatments are needed to really see results? So the first protocol that we talked about for fine lines and wrinkles was the protocol was really one treatment. And then often we would say to come back in six months do a second and then go to maintenance, which would be like once a year. If we want to do a lifting protocol, that's what I call it in my office, the lifting protocol, and I want someone who has more sagging, then we're going to do two treatments, about six to eight weeks apart, and then we're going to go to maintenance, which is usually about once a year. If someone, obviously, we see in the pictures before and afters, if someone has, a, you know, is much more wrinkly, is, has a lot of sun damage, maybe in their 60s, 70s, or 80s, you know, they might want to, to do more because when you increase the collagen from soft wave and then you do it again, you're starting at that point. People always ask me, how long does it last? It's not like it goes away. You age from that point on, right? So if you start from that next point, then you're as if you're that, at that point to start with and you're going to rejuvenate and get tighter from that point. So it's a nice way to keep tightening your skin over time. So it's not like you have to stop the treatments. You can do and you don't have to keep doing them. The cost is a, um, a difficult thing to answer just because sometimes we just do a brow lift, which could be anywhere from 1000 to 1500 If we're doing full face and, um, and neck, it could be 3500 You know, if we're doing lower face and neck, which is very, very common, it could be anywhere around 2000 to 3000 depending. It also depends on how many passes you're doing on the patient. Mm -hmm. Just you want to get a lift versus just tightening. So mm -hmm. again, you know, it's, there's the ranges. I would say probably the, the least, least expensive is 800 if you're doing maybe around the eyes or just a minute, mm -hmm. miniature brow lift or something like that. But it's affordable, um, and we can tell to you like just the areas you want if you want to if you don't want to do your whole face or face and neck. And um, it's uh, like I said, it, it's it's an easy thing to sit through. It's not a difficult thing. And believe me, I've tried a lot of different procedures, and some I want to jump off the table. This is <laughs> not one. Yeah. Is it safe for all areas on the face, like around your eyes, which is very sensitive? Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of other procedures. You have to worry about nerves and you have mm -hmm. to worry about structures underneath. Here, because you're only 1.5 millimeters underneath the surface, there's no major vessels that you have to okay. worry about or no nerves you have to worry about. And you can treat almost anywhere. So that's why you can actually go around the eyes and tighten okay. the skin around the eyes. And um, you can lift the skin off of the upper brow there and against the bone and we treat around here to get a lift there which is really a nice thing because there's not that many things that can do that and um, yeah you can basically wherever you want we can treat it. Mm -hmm. And for our viewers that are international uh, I know you're based in New York where can they find soft wave treatments locally and find out more information? So you can go on their website on softwave.com um, you can also, it's, there's a big social media presence, right, with Softwave. You can look at, online, at Lewis Dermatology. Um, we, we, we post a lot about Softwave, and I actually posted a lot of, uh, about me teaching it to the residents a couple weeks ago. Um, and so it shows you how I was teaching them and explaining it to them, which shows you, like, where some of the questions that you asked me, like, how deep does it go? What, is it, what does it do to your skin? That kind of thing. But there's a lot of, um, of information on the web. And... Um, you can also, if you have other questions, they can call my office um, in New York City. It's 212-288-6133. We're happy to answer questions, send you information. And, uh, you know, if you're in the area, obviously, you know, come on over and we'll treat you. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Amy, for being on the show today. If I'm ever in New York, I'm definitely going to check you out. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah, I will. I will. I will definitely. And I think I'm going to get this treatment after speaking to you because it sounds pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for being on the show today. And uh, we hope to have you back soon. Thanks. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. You can fly higher than the sky